street smart car predominantly looks after clients from the uh, entertainment industry, creative industries. Um, we have about half of our clients are actors and the other half are a mixture of all sorts of other things like musicians, theatrical agents, directors, ballet dancers. So yeah, a broad spectrum of the entertainment industry. And we're now moving into uh, picking up more general practice uh, clients as we've now got a, a broader scope with the streets uh, practice behind us. Why would someone in the entertainment industry uh, choose to use Mark Car, Street Smart Car? I think uh, because we've started as a very small firm and we've had to work very hard to kind of uh, win our clients and our larger clients, we, we would have to kind of bend over backwards to build up the relationship. Um, why is Street Smart Car set up in Brighton in particular? I think Brighton has a very large growing creative base and uh, we're looking to um, develop our services around that. Brighton, um, I think pretty much known as London by the Sea, and a lot of people have moved down from London, creative types, um, to be part of the scene down here. There's the gaming uh, industry down here. There's uh, various festivals. You've got um, Festival in May, the Arts Festival. You've got the Great Escape Festival. Um, of course, there's Pride as well. Uh, in August. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a very much uh, happening creative town and um, yeah, we want to be part of that. Street Smart Car doesn't only look after entertainment clients, we, uh, with the streets, uh, national firm behind us, we're able to deal with uh, virtually anything that could be thrown at us. Um, in particular, there's the IR35 sector, which is becoming pretty huge, or with it hitting the public sector last year and coming up uh, to hit the private sector next year. We've got a strong team that can deal with that. Yeah, the most frequently asked questions from clients is uh, typically what expenses can I claim? And that, that is a bit of an art actually, especially when it comes to the entertainment industry. Uh, we can certainly see some people just claim far too much and others who just don't claim uh, enough. So um, yeah, that, that, that is absolutely uh, a top question. Uh, another question is fees. Obviously, you know, that's kind of paramount uh, for that. And we've always been very competitive on our fees. Uh, the challenges we help our clients get past are essentially making sure they pay the right amount of tax. Because people will come to us and, and say, well, you know, I'm very concerned about my tax bill. And we'll look at every avenue in which to reduce that um, to, its, to its right level. I think the problems uh, for most clients are different depending on the industry. Certainly entertainment, the, the main problem there is the fluctuation in income because um, they can be rolling on, along on quite a low level and then overnight they're kind of shooting up into six figures. But then you know, a year later they could be back down where they were before. So a lot of them need guidance on how to manage their uh, cash flow uh, and make sure they prepare for that tax bill. Uh, correctly. Uh, I think the benefits of uh, to use an accountant that uh, specialises in entertainment is the fact that we've got great experience of dealing with the fluctuations of income uh, that they that they occur and, and also because they are away on uh, film shoots, uh, touring theatre, uh, they need someone who can kind of make sure that things get paid and settled and uh, advice across to them with a kind of uh, Caring hand on the shoulder, I suppose, you know, because it's it's a cre creative types generally need, need that kind of support. I think. I think what they what they can expect from a street smart car is is to be able to respond uh, to their queries uh, when they arise, and also anticipate those queries as well. When we see uh, a significant change in the way they're operating, there may be things they're not particularly aware of, and and we'll respond to that. I particularly enjoy dealing with entertainment clients. It's one of the reasons why I moved into it. It's just that you know, there's always a story. And uh, I think entertainment clients are always uh, appreciative of the services that we, that we give. Whereas uh, some other industries, I think they just, you know, they, they'll take the report and get on with it. Whereas I think uh, entertainment, because of the, the nature of the work that they come from, I think they're always uh, happy to um, Congratulate us, if you like, on our, on our work too.
For those uh, working or living in London, uh, we have an office in Covent Garden, which we've been operating out of for over 10 years now. And um, that's where we meet the majority of our clients. It's, uh, it's a short stroll from Covent Garden Tube. Well, literally, the best time to seek our services would be any time other than January, but inevitably we get a lot of clients call us in January, those uh, sort of last minute ones, but yeah, any, any time of the year, but if they can make it outside January, that would be good. When is a good time for uh, a client of ours to contact us? Um, or a new client would be just at the point they're just about to engage work. Maybe when they've, if they're a performer, then probably when they've signed up with an agent, because that shows a strong indication that they're now kind of uh, become professional. The biggest challenges I think clients face uh, is the fluctuation in income, is managing that, making sure they set aside sufficient funds, not getting too go ahead, uh, maybe for going for a mortgage, because I think a lot of people find pressure to kind of get a mortgage when they get the funds these days, but entertainment industry, the money's not guaranteed. So unless they're booked in for maybe a long series, something like that, then um, yeah, they need, they need kind of guidance in that area. Uh, I think there's a couple of challenges coming up uh, in the future. Certainly next year, uh, IR35 is going to play a big part for those in private industry with the, the pressure for, for the production companies to go ahead and just tax people like they're an employee. There's that. And then there's, of course, uh, making tax digital. When that comes in fully, uh, people have got to be more uh, prepared to keep the records dig digitally. Uh, things like Xero, QuickBooks, Receipt Bank, we can take photographs of your receipts and upload them onto the software, which for most people, I think it's going to be a good thing, but it's a bit of a technology hurdle uh, for some. Uh, certainly there are key things coming up on the horizon, um, certainly IR35, um, people have got to be prepared uh, to look at that because that's hitting the uh, private uh, industries. Uh, people are going to be taxed at source as though they were employed and people are going to need guidance in challenging that because employers are going to be, uh, have a lot of pressure to just uh, treat people as employees when strictly speaking they're probably self-employed or trading through a company. Um, another one that's uh, coming up is making tax digital. Uh, there's a lot of software out there now which people need guidance on, uh, on using, like Xero, QuickBooks, uh, the ability to take photographs uh, of your receipts. Um, this is going to become uh, essential with making tax digital and people need assistance in how to use that. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to make uh, the processes a lot quicker but it's just getting used to a new way of working, really. Important pieces of advice for uh, a client would be make sure you set aside enough money for your tax bill going forwards and uh, just make sure you get a, an industry accountant because there are a lot of quirks in the industry and um, I think uh, you're going to need that guidance to get through that. Certainly uh, challenges that sort of new industries uh, like gaming, uh, YouTubers, which are very strong in Brighton. Uh, the challenges they're uh, having is dealing with international aspects and uh, again, managing cash flow. And certainly at Streets, we have the ability to deal with uh, international uh, aspects and help them develop uh, because obviously internet is worldwide. Um, the benefits that Streets have, have given Mark Carr with the change that occurred uh, last year is that they have a very, very strong team across the board, especially we've found with tax. Uh, previously, I would kind of dig out my books and do research and spend an hour or two sort of checking something over. Now, I can just make a telephone call or an email to their strong tax team and I'll get chapter and verse back you know, very, very quickly. And um, yeah, it's rock solid advice. Very easy to change accountants. Yeah, um, you can either give us a telephone call on 01273 or send me an email. You'll find the email addresses on our website. Um, in fact, change, you can even pop to the office. I mean, you can, we're the centre of town. It's easy enough to do and arrange a free of charge uh, yeah. meeting. Um, I'd say changing your accountant is even easier than changing your energy provider.